Drones are undoubtedly the future of flying. They are already being used to deliver goods, shooting films and in combat zones. I caught up with one of the known names in the area of drone technology, Timothy Reuter at the World Economic Forum. Thanks for talking to us, Timothy. First of all, tell us, what do you think about the Indian market because India has permitted the commercial use of drones? Yeah, I think the, the biggest story in drones this year is the opening up of the Indian market. As you probably know, the Directorate General of Civil Aviation passed the first regulation starting in December of last year that finally permits commercial drone use. And companies around the world and domestically in India are trying to figure out all the different ways they can use drones to help people and make money as well. Tell us something about the future of drone technology. So the new applications that are emerging that I'm most excited about are in drone delivery. We've seen in places like Rwanda and Switzerland, the use of drones to bring medical supplies, in some cases to remote areas and across cities. And we're beginning to see also heavy lift drone delivery emerging, which has the potential to transform logistics and supply chains. But what about the incidents like the Gatwick Airport incident where the airport had to be shut down? What do you think about the future of drone technology in light of such incidents? Absolutely. So what happened to Gatwick and then Heathrow and then Newark um, points to the need for an unmanned traffic management system. And actually India is working on this with their Digital Skies platform where every drone has to be registered in a central database and then checked before it takes off so that the central authorities can see all the drones in the air at the same time and track people who are breaking the rules. But what could be the biggest impediment for the spread of drone technology? Could it be the high cost? Actually, drones are the least expensive form of aviation out there. And what originally excited me about this technology is that ordinary people could start getting the same perspective from the sky that used to only be available to governments and large corporations. And talking about the future of drones, what is your assessment over there? So we just published a case study on what Switzerland and Rwanda have done, being pioneers in national scale drone delivery and urban drone delivery. But one of the most exciting issues in the space is that there is no established leader. So any country that is willing to be bold and innovate has the opportunity to really capture the possibilities of this market and deliver those benefits and the uh, industrial advantages as well. So if India decides to move in that direction, they can be a leader just you know, as much as China. From flash mob dances to onboard performances, Holi is a festival that Indian carriers have been celebrating in different ways. Before we say goodbye, we get you a mashup of how airlines have celebrated the festival of colors. Take care and fly safe.